Hello everyone. Welcome back to Maxim Automation. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can automatically install Allure on your Jenkins server or agent machine. Generally, when we used to create different agents or nodes in Jenkins, so each time it is not possible to set up the Allure framework on each and every agent. And if in future we move to a new version of Allure, then we need to update the same version to all the agent machine, which does not look the correct way of implementation. So now, what can we do? We can set up automatic installation of Allure onto those agents or node machines. Now let's see how we can do that. So for example, let's say this is my machine where the Jenkins server is installed. And in this machine, if I type Allure in the command line, then you can see Allure is not recognized as an internal command. It means Allure setup is not available on this machine. I have not configured the Allure home path to target the Allure bin folder. Now, let's say this was one of the projects which I have created to generate the Allure report and send it over the email. And it is having the command to generate the Allure report. If I go to the console, then you can see this is the command I was talking about to generate the report. Now, because I do not have any setup for Allure in my system, so this command should throw an error when I'm going to build it. If I move to the console, then you can see it throws the error, says Allure is not recognized as an internal command. So now, let's see how we can set up the auto installation of Allure, so that before running the build, if Allure is not available, then it is going to download and set up the Allure first on agent or node machine. So for that, let's move to the manage Jenkins. And then we'll move to the tools. And under the tool, just scroll down to the Allure command line installation. Here you can provide any name to your Allure directory where you want to configure it. I'm going to use the Allure home. So the Allure is going to be downloaded within this folder. Initially, we have seen that if you have Allure already available on your machine, in that case, you can provide the path here. For example, let's say if it is available under C drive, Allure bin, something like that. If it is already available, then you can provide that path. If you're using only a single machine, then you can provide that path here. But that is not what we are trying to solve here. Because we want it to install automatically as we'll be having multiple agents where we need to do this setup. So instead of providing the directory here, what we are going to do, we're going to click on install automatically. You have to check this checkbox and then you have to click on add installer. Now there are different ways to install the LU. You can either extract any zip file or you can download it from Maven Central. You can run the batch command or you can run shell command as well. You can choose any option. If your build is running on a different operating system, then the recommendation is to use multiple installers so that if one installer does not work on one machine, then it can use the other one. But if you have only one operating system to support, then you can choose only one type of installer. Here, I'm going to choose Maven Central. The moment we select it, we can see the different versions of Allure which we can use. I'm going to choose the latest version here. You can select any versions which you want. So this is how I'm going to do it. So if you want any other option, then you can choose a different option as well. For example, extract, say, for tar file, if there is any URL from where you want to download the zip file, and then you want to extract it, that is also can be done. And then we have another option, if you want any batch command to run, which is going to do the job for you, then you can also use it. So the easiest option is to download from Maven Central. 
it is going to automatically install this version of Helio to our machine. Now let me save the changes. And then I'll again move to the project. Here, if I run this build immediately, then this is not going to work. Because before running the build, we need to perform some changes. For example, let's say if I do the build now, then this time the build is going to fail. And if I go to the console, then you can see we're getting the same error. Because what I'm doing right now as part of my pipeline script. If I go to the pipeline script, then you can see that I'm just running the batch command to generate the LO report, which means it is going to run the command on the command line. And because now I do not have Allure available or set up on my machine, then this command is not going to work. This is the same thing if I open a command prompt and type the command Allure. You can see the same error we are getting here as well. So this will continue to fail because here I'm running the batch command to generate the report. Now, instead of running the batch command, what we need to do is here, let me click on the pipeline syntax. And then under the pipeline syntax, you have to select the LAO report from the drop down. And then you have to provide the path where your LAO results are available. In my case, let me copy this path. This is the path where LAO results are getting generated. So this is the directory and this is the LAO results folder. After that, we need to scroll down and here in the advanced section, make sure these options are selected. And at last, click on generate pipeline script. So now what we have to do, we have to copy this script and then let's go to the pipeline and paste the script here. I'm going to comment the previous step because this is not required now. This line of script is going to do the job for us. If there is no LAO installed or configured on the machine, then first it is going to download the LAO and then it is going to generate the report as well from this path, which I have provided in my script. So that is the only changes which we need to perform. Now let me save the changes. And I'm going to build the pipeline again. And this time, if I move to the console, then you can see currently it is downloading the LU. Here you can see unpacking the files to this location. This is the Jenkins workspace location where it is creating LU home directory. And it will use this location to generate the LU report. And here you can see it has triggered the command, which is LO.bat generate. And we can see reports are successfully generated to this location. And now it is sending email to this mailbox. So this is how you can install the LO automatically and use it to generate your report. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked this video. Please put your comments in the comment box. Also, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.